Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. For this week's yoga class, we have a mood boosting, mood uplifting, good mood, vinyasa flow. The perfect little class to do if you're stuck in a little bit of a rut, someone's annoyed you, something's annoyed you. I've just put in all of my favorite poses which are gonna open pretty much everywhere. Shoulders, upper back, hamstrings, and it's just gonna help to move energy through your body. It's gonna get you feeling good again. So, without further ado, let's go and get started. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to stay updated. I post out one brand new video every single week, but if one isn't enough, then you can follow the link in my, what's that thing called underneath? Description box. And it will take you to my online subscription page, The Sacred Space, where I post out five brand new videos every single week, plus yoga challenges, yoga series, it's 4 dollars for the whole month. And you can also sign up for the year, it's 50 pounds, and it works out less than 1p a day. And you get like 20 plus videos every month. So, now without further ado, we will go and get started. Okay, my lovelies, we are gonna begin in our child's pose at the end of the mat. So just take your time to come down. Keep this in nice and relaxed child's pose. So let there be a gentle bend into your elbows. Let your forehead really sink into the mat and the bum sinking down towards the heels. Just begin to connect inwards to your breath. So feel the air flowing in through the nose and feel it flowing out. Moving this breath down into the abdomen, so feel the belly expand on your inhale. And sink back as you exhale. Just do three deep clearing breaths before we begin our practice. You can let go of whatever it is that might have annoyed you. Or just anything that no longer serves you. It could be a thought. It could just be some old energies that you need to let go of. Just inhale, big deep breath in through the nose. And big exhale, sigh out through the mouth. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth. And now on your next inhale, start to walk your fingertips further forward so that you're lifting your elbows off the mat. And if you want a little bit more, lift onto your fingertips and you can slightly hover your forehead, drawing your chin and your chest down. I'm gonna take it into a side stretch. You can take your palms or your fingertips round to your right side. As you exhale, really sink the body down and press your weight through the left side of the body. And then walk those fingertips round to the left. And again, as you exhale, press down through your right side, breathing into any tightness. And then walking those fingertips back to center. Slowly walk the hands in as you inhale. We're going to tuck the toes underneath and just roll into ragdoll at the end of the mat. Feet hips distance apart with a gentle bend into the knees. Find the elbows and just completely let go here of your upper body. Maybe even bringing in a gentle rock from side to side. Just see how much you can relax through your spine, the back of the neck and all the muscles in the face. If you want a little more into the hamstrings, bring little bands into the knees. And then release the arms down and inhale, start to roll you up to standing. And 
I'm going to lift your head, sweep the palms up and over, gaze up towards the thumbs, opening up the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen either hands to the shins or fingertips on the mat. Walk out into your high plank. With your knees down or lifted, exhale, chaturanga, elbows brushing the sides of the body. Inhale, upward facing dog. Hips lifted, chest open, and you can modify with baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And just find three deep rounds of the breath in your down dog. As you inhale, lengthening from the fingertips to the tailbone. And exhale, lengthening from the tailbone all the way down to the backs of the heels. And sending the gaze towards the hand, step forward with your right foot and lower down to the left knee. Take a moment to just pause here on fingertips, knee above the ankle, just opening up through the chest. Breathing into any tightness in your left hip. And then lifting up and out of the hip crease, sweep the palms together overhead. Gaze up towards the thumbs. But relaxing into the lower body. From here, just drop those thumbs down to the nape of the neck. And then gently pressing your head into the forearms to open up the chest, elbows pointing up towards the ceiling, heart opening. Then reach those palms up, inhale. And exhale, lower all the way down. Palms flat, slightly push into the upper back. Lift the back knee, step left foot top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing, draw that energy up. Gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Bend into the knee, step back with the right foot. Left foot. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And switching to that left side, gaze between the hands. Left foot forward. Lower down to the right knee. Again, we're lifting onto the fingertips, opening up through the chest. Breathing into any tightness in the right hip. And then lifting up and out of our hip crease, sweep the palms up and overhead, gazing up towards the thumbs. And see if you can take the thumbs down to the nape of the neck, pushing the head back to open up through the chest. This might feel a little awkward. <laughs> if you're tight into your upper back like me, as much as you can, you're lifting your gaze, you're lifting your chest. One more breath. Inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, lower down. Back knee left, step right foot, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, standing. Gaze into the thumbs. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Bending into the knees, step back with the left foot, right foot, exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths in your down dog. Still finding that length, lifting the tailbone high, push, pushing weight down through the heels. And on your next inhale, we're gonna flow into high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly through your chaturanga. So from here, we're gonna widen our hands a little bit wider than the mat. Elbows are above the wrist, forehead resting. Feet together. Inhale, push through the fingertips and lift the chest. So you might just be lifting to here. You might be able to lift up a little higher. You might be able to straighten out the arms. Any pressure into that lower back and don't come up as a high. Exhale, roll all the way down. Opening up that upper back. We're gonna find three more. Inhale. And exhale. And we're trying to find that rolling motion through the spine. So inhale, rolling up. And exhale, rolling down. One more, push the fingertips into the floor. Inhale to open. And exhale to lower. Hands underneath the shoulders. Your option is to either take it back to child's pose or we transition into down dog from here. So tuck the toes underneath, knees down or lifted, push up into your plank. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Just allowing the spine to find its neutral position. And of course, if you need to rest, you're in child's pose. It's from downward facing dog, send the gaze towards the hands and just start to walk your feet forwards. See how far you can get them without lifting the hands or the fingertips off the mat. And then to get them to the top of the mat, you might have to lift up. Feet hips distance apart, find the elbows, let the head drop. We're just going to take another rag doll just to release the lower back. Maybe this time you've got a little more length in the hamstrings. But if not, don't worry, because the next thing that we're going to do is going to get into those hamstrings. So inhale, halfway lengthen. Little bend into the knees, step back with your left foot, keep your toes tucked underneath. Like you're gonna come up into your high lunge. But instead of coming up, we're gonna straighten out our right leg. Left hip pulls forward, right hip pulls back. Inhale to open up the chest. You can take your hands onto blocks and you can bring a bend into that right knee if you need to. Exhale, fold three rounds of the breath. In a long pyramid pose, this can be quite challenging to hold. We wanna be relaxed in the upper body, but strong through the legs. One more breath here. If you want a little challenge, you're gonna bring your right hand around the back of your right leg. Keep it there as you bend into your left knee and you send that left leg up towards the ceiling for standing splits. Of course, your option is to take both hands down. Hips are square, so we're working into that right hamstring. Three breaths here. And then slowly step that left foot down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. You might feel like that right hand is a little, you might find that, that right hamstring feels a little more lengthened than the left. Inhale, standing. Gaze to the thumbs. Open up the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Bend into the knees, step back with the right foot. Toes tucked underneath like you're about to come up into lunge. And then extend. Right hip pulls forward, left hip pulls back. Inhale, lengthen. A big exhale to fold. Three breaths. Keep 
keep relaxing through the upper body, breathing into any tightness in that left leg. So your challenge, if you want it from here, is to take that left hand around the back of that left leg. Bend into the left knee, sweep that right leg high. Three rounds of breath in our standing splits, using the strength of that right glute to lift that right leg. Using the strength of your left hand to draw you in. And slowly step your right foot down. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Inhale standing. Gaze to the thumbs. Exhale fold. Inhale halfway. Bending into the knees, step back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. And again, from our Down Dog, we're going to take it into High Plank and lower all the way down through our Chaturanga to our belly. So inhale, High Plank. Exhale, all the way down. From here, we're going to take a deeper back bend. If this is too much, you can stay with your seal pose. I think some people call it seal pose. Uh, I can see how it would look like a seal, um, but it's a, I guess it's a variation of cobra, so you can stay with that if that is where you are. Otherwise, we're taking it into bow. So one at a time, we can reach back for the ankles. All the tops of the feet. Keep the knees in line with the hips. If this is challenging for you, maybe you just on an inhale lift the chest and lift the shoulders and lift the head and then exhale lower. Or if you're quite comfortable here, inhale lift the head, lift the shoulders and then push the feet up towards the ceiling. Opening into the back and the chest, keeping the knees in line with the hips and staying on our belly, so staying on the navel, not rocking up onto those hips. Exhale, lowering down. We're gonna do two more breaths. So inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. One more, inhale, lift and open. lower. Release the legs, hands underneath the shoulders, round all the way back into your child's pose. If you prefer this time round, you can let your arms rest either side of the body. Or maybe you keep them out in front. We're going to finish here. So let your body completely relax. And we're just finding that nice neutral spine to release. Let your body download the benefits of that back bend and of all the other poses that we've done in this practice. And just like we did at the beginning, three deep clearing breaths, letting go one last time. Inhale fully through the nose, feel the belly expand. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale, sigh out. One more, the deepest breath that you can draw in. And the loudest exhale that you can sigh out. And slowly start to walk the hands in. Bring the knees together. Sweep the palms up and overhead. Exhale to the heart. Just pause. And notice how the energy in the body feels. After this quick little flow. 
Maybe you feel a little more present, a little calmer, a little happier. Any feelings, any sensations are positive. Set an intention to take them with you off your mat. And thank yourself for taking this time out of your day, dedicating it to not just the physical body, but most importantly to the mind. Just bow the head down to the heart. Namaste.